What's cocking everybody? It's your boy Zay Clack. Man, am I excited. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Jordan 4 Lightning. Life is hard. I bought a new pair of shoes the other day, walked outside into the rain, and ended up stepping into some mud. Now they're ruined, and I'm bitter. But then I took a step back. Not utterly, of course, but I really. Now here's the funny thing, I've been going for sneaker releases for like three or four years and I've never, I mean never, I've never hit on sneakers before. This is my first hit, I mean I haven't gone for every single release within those four years but there have been periods where like I'll do a few months and then give up and then come back a few months later and still not hit. I've hit on high road, I've hit, I haven't hit on GRs ever, I've never hit on anything rare or anything like that. Um, and this is my first time hitting on a sneakers, sneaker release and this is just, yeah, so that's, I'm, I'm super hyped. The, this pair that I have in hand, I actually won on Foot Locker. It's the, my first time winning something on Foot Locker as well. So, uh, I mean, I, I feel like these the stock numbers are pretty high, which is why I probably won. But uh, I'm super excited regardless because, you know, it's, uh, it's still pretty lucky to get two pairs in the same release for retail. So I'm very happy. And on top of that, I, I, I not only just hit on a pair of Jordans, I hit on the Jordan 4 Lightning. I mean, these are like grail status shoes. They were for a really long time. Uh, so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm super stoked. I think they look dope and I want to show you guys what they look like. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys, so starting off with the box, here it is. Jordan 4 Lightning. Here's the size. Uh, to make sure. Yeah, this is the size tag right here, just in case you're wondering. It's got, man, I like sneaker releases, they're so much better. So much better when they have a special box like this. Um, you know, they could have gone with a normal Jordan 4 box, but they went above and beyond. And that's, that to me adds an extra value to the shoe. It's just such a cool touch. All right, so now moving on to the shoe itself. Let's get into the details first. So starting off with the upper, we have a, uh, it's an entirely new buck upper, and it comes in this like smoother upper, uh, or smoother new buck than you usually see on Jordan releases. It's uh, it's like, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's like almost leather, but not quite. It's like, it's like leather with a suede touch, or suede feel to it. Um, and it comes in this kind of like yellow that reminds me of Dijon mustard almost. Um, the official colorway is tour yellow, but it's like, yeah, it's like a little bit more muted in real life than it is on video. So like on video and pictures, it kind of looks a little bit more vibrant than it is. Um, and speaking of which, the laces on the shoe itself in real in person, they look a little they look a little brighter than the actual yellow on the upper. Um, so it's not it's not really something I'm uh, like it's not a complaint. It's just something that I noticed um, and something to consider when you're looking at the shoe and body. Moving on to the details on the midsole. We have a white and gray midsole and the typical you know, Jordan 4 uh, blocking with a, a translucent air bubble. Now moving on to the wings of the shoe, we, we have a Jordan 4 wing but it's done in a dark gray uh, uh, new buck, just like the new buck on the rest of the shoe. Which is different from your normal Jordan 4 because usually Jordan 4s have like a, a, a plastic or a rubber and uh, yeah th this, is, this is really, uh, it's different which I, which I kind of like, it's different from the normal Jordan 4. And uh, you know, on the ends of the wings, we have these plastic tabs, or uh, I, think, I guess you could say wing tips. I don't know, I forget what these are called, but uh, yeah, so it's like a dark translucent plastic. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the wings. Moving on to my favorite part of the shoe, which I would say is, is the tongue. Uh, as you can see, it's it's got a gray patch. The rest of the tongue is like done in the same new buck, but the tongue patch is just a, it's just the normal material used on the tongue patches. Um, and it's, it's got a white jump man and a yellow flight underneath it. And uh, it's just, in my opinion, it's super clean. The tongue itself is actually like very well cushioned. It's like kind of, it's kind of like a plush, plush uh, Jordan 4 tongue. And uh, it's super comfortable. Looking at the back of the shoe, we have a normal Jordan 4 uh, jump man that you see on a bunch of other Jordan 4s. But this time uh, it's, done in a, it's done in like a plastic. So it's like a glossy plastic and it's in a dark gray color. 
Um, super clean in my opinion, very, very cool, uh, very cool touch. And then lastly, just a quick look at the uh, outsole of the shoe. It's just a normal Jordan 4 outsole with, you know, white and gray and then the uh, little yellow Jumpman on the bottom right there in the middle. And uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for all the details of the shoe. Um, overall thoughts on the shoe, I, I just think I'm, I'm very blessed that I've been able to get two pairs. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wear one and then sell the other. It's just, uh, yeah, these are a grail status shoe, and I just, I really love this colorway. And uh, you know, you know, I think, I think that the best time to buy this shoe is going to be like a week after its release because right now prices are a little inflated. Um, from what I can tell, it seems like stock numbers are pretty high, so they're about, they're probably going to go down a little bit, and then, um, and then they'll go back up over time. So I would suggest wait a week or two if you're going to buy a pair for personal, and then. Uh, buy it and then you know, you know, you can Yeah, so I would recommend I would recommend waiting a week or two and then buying it and uh, and you know Because if you wait if you wait to save up for the shoe It's probably gonna go back up in like a month or two and then my overall I'm yeah So from what I'm hearing from uh, different from different sources is that the sneakers will definitely go up especially by Christmas time so so yeah, I would definitely recommend waiting two weeks and then buying a pair for yourself. Real quickly, I want to wrap up the video by saying uh, how grateful I am for all the support I got on my first video. I'm at like 12,000 views on the basic tutorial, and you know I got a bunch of new subscribers from it, so I'm super thankful. If you're new, uh, please consider liking and subscribing. I want to try and get to 50 subscribers by the end of the month. And uh, yeah, let's grow. Let's grow this channel together. I'm super excited for the future, and hopefully, you get to see my growth and my progression. And yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, really happy with the. Uh, the support I'm getting and you can help me keep that going. I'm really grateful. And uh yeah guys. Yeah guys. That's uh, that's gonna wrap it up. Stay right. classic. Peace.